Hello, the Darkness 344 here, and in today's video, I'll be basically showing off this um, simple counter circuit that um, relates to the thing I showed off in my previous video. So in that video, um, it was basically a tutorial on these um, counter cells, these binary counter, up counter and down counter, and I showed how to make it into a modulo n counter. Uh, specifically a modulo 10 counter so we could use uh, count up in decimal. Um, this is useful because of course we can feed this into binary coder decimal displays like this one I'm about to show. So over here was the previous circuit so if, if we go over we can have a look at it and I basically showed it was just counting up like this and it was yeah, pre pretty simple just just counting up that so of course this would be the ones column the tens column and the hundreds column to represent decimal with binary coded decimal uh, input and then so well what what i mean by that is these um have a binary coded decimal output but then we'd need to uh decode that with our displays and our display drivers so we can um view it as a decimal number using seven segment displays like this. So over here we have the same setup as over there, just I've, I've rotated it and I've also plugged it into these displays over here. You may recognize this from one of my previous videos and it's just a very basic um, seven segment display which takes a binary coded decimal input and will decode it uh, from zero through nine. So this does have a few problems where the cells are kind of slow, some, some will take longer than others. However, I have set this clock up to be one second, so every second it will count up by one. So we can see that. So one, two, three, four, five. And of course the display will show that too. Though of course the display may, uh, the numbers may uh, be a bit faster or slower than a second. And that's just because I've, yeah, this display driver is a very terrible design and I should really um, design a much more compact and faster one. So this is basically just a, a showcase of a use you could use. So this display will um, count from 0 to 999 and it's very easy to of course just add digits as you can just stack it, it's very simple. So the only lines, um, that may look uh, not stackable or just may look a bit different are this line over here and all this is is just a reset line so when I click it it will reset all the counters of course each 4-bit um, counter has its own reset button but when you have a display like this or when you link three of them together you would of course want a, a reset to reset all of them instead of just um, a, a tens column or a hundreds column or whatever of course that might be useful to have if you're making like a calculator or something but for a counter you don't really need that too much so how would you go around making one of these well it's pretty simple all you'd have to do is um first you'd get the um the line from that so you have an and gate over here to detect the numbers 10 and you take that as an output and of course it goes back into your reset of your counter to make it a modulo n counter but then you can also um, pass it through uh, so you can just also output it into the next counter so this is the output of the AND gate so um, when this digit and this digit are on so when 8 and 2 uh, are on then the AND gate will activate, turning this torch on, which also resets the counter back to zero, but it also sends, briefly, a two-tick pulse into this counter over here. And that's uh, very important because these counters operate on two ticks. If you say, if your AND gate or you had slightly different timings in your circuit, um, you would actually need a pulse generator here, just to make sure you only generate two ticks, like I've done over here. I think actually you might be able to get away with say four ticks, maybe that might work. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, I think you can use four ticks, but I would recommend um, two ticks if possible. 
Um, but this will give out a brief pulse that will uh, clock the next counter. It, it might not actually be a two tick pulse, it will just be brief enough that it doesn't break the counter. So th that's basically how to do them. Uh, yeah, if you use a slightly different design you might need to add a pulse um, generator to generate that two tick pulse. And then of course you can just hook them each uh, into the each display. Because these displays are taken a binary coded decimal input and will output a decimal number on the seven second display part. So of course um, the way binary coded decimal works would be so you have one two, four, eight, and then you'd have 10, 20, 40, and 80. But uh, these are kind of dumb. Cause this doesn't actually know that this is 10, 20, 40, and 80. Um, to this display, it thinks it's still just one, two, four, and eight. However, since um, the way we read numbers um, is from the left, so we have the hundreds column, the tens column, and the ones column, to us, um, this is the tens column. And so these inputs would be 10, 20, 40, and 80, even though uh, we are only inputting 1, 2, 4, and 8. So that's just how binary cutter decimal works, and it works quite well. So yeah, I'll probably leave this for world download uh, in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'm out.